there's some news, and the first the first bit of news is potentially worrying if you're a digital reader. Reader? Reader? Uh, <laughs> digital reader. Uh, so, obviously, Amazon bought Comixology ages ago. This has been years at this point. Uh, you were, you, you've been suggested to integrate your accounts, right? If you've got an Amazon account, you've been tempted to merge mm-hmm. it with your Comixology account, and they've been suggesting that for about five years or something like that at this point, uh, which I think many people have, because there's no reason why not to. Plus, if you do merge it, it means anything you buy. If there's, a, if there's like a sale on Kindle, but not on Comixology, if you buy it on the Kindle, you, you get it on Comixology as well. So the, like, there's no reason not to merge them. You have nothing but benefits mm-hmm. from merging them. But uh, coming soon, it sounds like Comixology is just going to integrate with Amazon, and it's just going to be the Amazon like comics app and Amazon comic store. Uh, the reason why I say this is maybe slightly worrying is that as of right now, Amazon's version of buying comics is not that good, and there's like no shopping cart, so you can't like multi buy things. You just buy things one at a time. Uh, but yeah, I mean they're claiming it'll be faster download speeds. I'm like they're comic books. Why they, sh- they should not have been a problem before. It's, they're not that big. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I I know when I downloaded stuff at work on the uh off of the wi-fi it takes like 20 seconds instead of you know five you know but that's because my my work has poor signal um but yeah i don't i don't know how much faster it needs to be i mean on my on my internet it shouldn't be taking more than a couple of seconds for a comic book to download Mm -hmm. so i'm not sure why it would get any really faster that's perceivable to my my human like senses but whatever you know they, they want to try and jazz it up and make it sound sexy yeah i mean I, I guess we all kind of figured this would maybe happen at some point and uh, like for whatever reason they maybe want to just sort of start to get away from the comicsology branding and just make it amazon's thing and like on, on surface level there's no reason why that has to be bad necessarily but it's just mm-hmm. you know like i mean they're saying that it'll in, like primal be a thing where you know maybe you get access to some of the comicsology unlimited stuff if you're a prime member and stuff like that so maybe that's nice but uh honestly like content wise there's no concerns like everything's still going to be there i think the only concerns is that much like anything when you have a perfectly working app that everyone's used to using and then you go to something that's less you know iterated and less advanced and is still got kinks to work out mm. all of a sudden a lot of the functionality you had before is suddenly maybe not quite there to the same extent so yeah, yeah that's it's like when stuff thing. moves from a, a one streaming service to a different one or or the different apps and you're just used to the way that you had it and so the new way just sucks you know so um it's like well why, why didn't you just port the way it already was you know like it wasn't broken so, hmm. yeah. So, so some concerns there, but I mean, I'm sure like anything that is missing or anything that is wrong with it, they will fix over time. It's just really annoying that we may have to go through that phase of them yeah. having to fix things when there's nothing wrong with how Comicsology works right now. So, right. so that, that that potentially is a little bit sucky, but hey, uh, I guess we'll just all have to get through it and. Get on with the lives. Uh, one note I did see, this is not mentioned in any of the articles, but I, know, I saw people ask about this on Twitter. Uh, so one of the things that Comixology does on top of having regular big sales is that sometimes the sales are discount codes rather than just direct sales pages. Mm-hmm. And because Amazon doesn't really do that, uh, it does mean the days of the, like, the buy one, get one free sales code and stuff like that won't exist. So the other big bad news about this is that if you were lucky and if you timed it well, Sometimes you could get overlapping sales from before where you could get the buy one free, get one free sales code to work mm-hmm. while another sale was like active and you could actually really make bank <laughs> with some really, really cheap comics. Um, it sounds like those days are probably also done because the codes are just not going to be a thing anymore. So that also kind of sucks. Admittedly, it was cheating the system a little bit, so I can see why they're not that fussed about taking that away from us, but mm-hmm. <laughs> it is another downside, so uh, keep that in mind, folks. Uh, so that's that news. Uh, not great news, but, you know, not disastrous, I suppose. Uh, the other thing, just a small thing, uh, Daniel Simpier, uh, the artist, has signed a mm-hmm. new exclusive contract with DC. 
and just teased that there's some uh, he's excited about drawing some of his favorite characters and some upcoming projects that he can't announce yet. So, yeah, uh, big things possibly coming. But Sam Pierre's art's been very good. Uh, we've very good. Um, embarrassment of riches. So it's a shame we're losing him on action, but he seems super stoked for whatever he was working on. Mm -hmm. Which and if it's like a much bigger project in the DCU, then awesome. Um, because that art needs to be seen by more people. Yeah, he's mostly worked with DC for the past decade, but this is, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is the first time it's officially been an exclusive contract, or if it's just, right. a, just a new exclusive yeah, contract, it, but... It had been little stuff here and there, right? Like, he did a couple fill-in issues on, on, like, Suicide Squad, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, so, um, it was stuff like here and that, here and there, so to him be one of the premier, you know, names that, you know, the all our favorite uh, writers are gonna work with. That's very exciting. Yeah, the, the books that are listed here in the article, he's worked on Batgirl, Injustice, Justice League Dark, Suicide Squad, and Mortal Kombat X. So, yeah. they're obviously currently yes. on action. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cool. Uh, obviously, the creator we like, and, uh, you know, every time we have a, this Empire on a book, it means we don't have a GRGR on a book, and that's a win. That's, that's a win. That's just a win. That's the, no, no two ways about it. Thank you.